I always like to drive, but it's different when you drive a car like that. You actually feel like you have to be in the moment. And it really does take you out of all your stuff. Like, it's kind of a zen place to be. I don't think about very much except driving when I'm behind the wheel. If you're in a hurry driving that car, you're not doing it right. My car is a 1967 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. It's blue with a black top and black interior. It has a, a metal dashboard and it has uh, metal bumpers. It doesn't have any of the vinyl stuff that was put in for safety features. It is just the newest version of an old car. Well, I have one big dog and one little one. The big guy sits in the back, mostly. Sometimes he stands in the back. Um, he's big and I'm small, so nobody can see me driving, so they think he's the one that's driving the car until they get up closer and realize that it's not a white-haired person driving the car. He attracts a lot of attention too. I would say that uh, when he's in the car, I get much more attention than when he's not. You go drive down the street and people honk and they wave and then they punch each other, which is a lot of fun. People always tell me how much they love my car. I get conversations at stoplights all the time. I'm not really one for drawing attention. I kind of like to be in the background in my regular life, but it's kind of fun to be, you know, for people to notice you as you're driving by. On June 20th, 2013, um, our town was hit with a huge flood one of those record breakers that you're only supposed to have every hundred years. 90% of the homes were affected and um, many of the businesses were affected and I was 10 days out of my house before I could come back and see the damage that took place. And uh, it was pretty traumatic all around. Mental health was a big deal for everybody in the community and I learned a lot during that experience. And ironically, it's probably one of the best things that ever happened to me. And the car is a big part of that because I decided that there's no point pretending that everything is honky-dory. You might as well just live in the moment and do what you can to make yourself happy. So when I'm feeling crappy, even in the wintertime, I'll just go downstairs and sit in it. <laughs> It is my happy place when I sit behind the steering wheel. Big open road, my dog's in the car. No place in particular that I need to be. And some really good driving tunes on the radio. I don't know, it's like that's, that's where I was meant to be. <laughs>